Hi and welcome. This is Jam Jar Thirty Four back in the hobby kitchen, cooking up some awesome stuff and bringing you even more spice fire. Fire, sorry, um, fire. Issue number two. Gut rippers. Yes, now we're talking the gut rippers. So, bag. I've got to open it, make it, try and make it a little bit shorter. Because the last one was a bit long. Um, but I had a lot of, this is what's going to happen in the issue. If there's a lot of things in, in each issue, then um, it's going to be a bit longer, unfortunately. But as you can, as you can tell, the goodness is here. The goodness is with the jam jar, 34. And the spice. Because it's super hot. So, what you get is 10, 10 gut rippers. Just go through the models quickly, because that's what you want to see. Um, so yeah, a sprue. Sprue. We like a bit of sprue. Um, I have actually bought another two um, issue twos. A bit of a tongue twister. And then you've also got, I'm not going to show you all of them, but you've got bases. And I'm confused with all these bases I have. Um, I've got the ones over there. Just do it. Just do it there somewhere. Um, but this is looking pretty mean. Um, and I bought another two um, because I wanted to um, reinforce my gut ripper unit um, from the Dominion box set. And that's the main reason why. So, let's go in. Here we go. Number two. I'm getting quite enthusiastic about this set. Um, so, let's go through it. Let's have some fun and go through it. So you've got the start and then you've got this bit. The usual bit, the read bit, the collect bit, the build bit and the play bit. Um, and then it's also got like, um, for the read bit, it's um, Age of Stigma 2, A Order 1, which is Grand Alliance, um, Mortal Realms is the Age of Stigma 2, um, B, um, Grand Alliance of Destruction, which is B, um, destruction one, and then you've got a crew, crew, crew boys collect is crew boys six and crew boys one, which is crew boys names. So, I think this is all to do with the filing system they've got going with it. So, there you go, you've got the mortal rounds. Let's have a little, little quick read and ready. Battles within the age of stigma take place in the mortal rounds which are eight worlds made of different kinds of magic each realm is a vast landscape that is home to warring empires and magical miracles and every realm is filled with incredible treasures and dangers beyond mortal comprehension and i actually read that big long word at the end and we've got stuck in it normally um, so it's got Realm of Life, Realm of Metal, and the Realm of Light, and Death. <laughs> so yeah, this is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good so far. So you've got, um, on there you've got the Realm of Chaos, and you've got the Cosmos Arcane, um, which is the, um, I think it's the realm of shadows, I think that is. Um, so you've got this, the Grand Alliance of Order, with old Mr. Funky himself. Mr. Funky. And then you've got Stormcast Eternals, Slalalavanef, Tree People and the Car Don 
Cardium Overlord. Car Carriagen Overlords, which I cannot pronounce today. Tomorrow might be a different day. And then you've got the Grand Alliance of Destruction. So this is technically the one. You got the Iron Iron Jaws, Groom Spike Gits, and my favourite, the Kill Boys. The Kills Boys, the Crawl Boys. See, it's this funky stuff, and you've got loads of shields. So, and then what you can do is running tactics. Um, each unit of Crawl Boys is combined by a Gut Ripper boss. Roll the dice and refer to the table below to find out what what he's like. And then you've got a name, you've got a result, and then you've got roll one, you know, usual. And those are pretty cool. Um, cool boys collection names. And that um, that is the other segment from the other bit. So you basically you put in different unit traits which I might have to do crawl balls names and then you've got hero titles and you've also got unit name so unit name killing up my old drag uh, my old dinosaur there and then same old malarkey with the how to put them together which is good. Wicked, wicked stickers. Well, and you've got wicked stickers. Which I might have to. The thing with this is, I might have to have a look because you can also. There is a bit you can also put other bits onto it I think um, but I haven't got my cards here so I'm not 100% sure I think they come with little dagger things um, so you've got the how to build where to clip it tells you where to clip line up parts push together but I normally push them together and glue them at the same time um, and then finished part so it's all back to basics but it's good it's good you know quite quite easeable easily for new new players builders painters to assemble um as you expect from the games workshop and and you've got user tools and what push fit but as i said i normally glue them um so it's got and then in the um the basics which is the purple The play. Um, the play is basically this time it's armor sa armor saves and units, and then the hunt it's called, which is pretty awesome. So there you go, armor saves units, single models. So you've got armor saves at the top, units. So it goes. Um, for instance, armor saves. I'll just read a little bit caption just to see if I can make it even shorter. When your models take damage in a game of Age of a uh, Warhammer Age of Stigma, you have a choice to protect them from damage with a special dice roll called an armor save. Models with lots of heavy armor have a better chance of deflecting incoming attacks. Models wear, wearing light armor are less likely to be able to defect, uh, deflect attacks. You roll the dice for an armor save after an enemy has rolled their attacks. Each successful armor save roll deflects an, arm, <coughs> an enemy attack and saves your model from being wounded. And then it just goes into multiple. Multiple. Single units is just basically a single unit, um, mainly heroes. Um, main 
mainly units contain multiple um, models that all fight together. These gut rippers are an example of a unit of multiple models. Units made of multiple models can be very powerful as they can unleash lots of attacks and can be very hard for your opponent to wipe out. So, hunky dory, and then you've got using it, you've got moving and fighting and dying. I mean, not really that nice, but you know, it does happen on the battlefield. Um, and then you've got the hunt, moving into battle, um, and then yeah, so you'll 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 see just there. Your circle. Use the map. Use the map. It tells you what you need for it, and then. Um, so there's you know you roll a dice and put a dice number in and it tells you what not and what is so if you get three you get three if you get three you get three so you know all the funky stuff to learn how to play the game if the night alpian has been slain go to number seven so number seven is basically this <coughs> Is the outcome and then it's got Stormbringer don't miss your chance to own this incredible collection so you've got four three and four at the back there and then you've also got the thingy at the back and the paint you get so that's coming in issue three, which is good. Five vindicate vindictors, which is good because Mr. Me has already got five. Which is happy, happy, happy days. So um, I hope you're liking this um, thing. I'm just going to go through a couple of bits. Um, so I got one unit of these from. Dominion box set, and it comes. And I'm I'm coming back to what Dave Dog said in one of my comments about how cheap and how deals. And I've been a bit sneaky here, to be perfectly honest. And I'm just going to be blatantly honest about it because this is what I might as well because I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. Um, so this 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 is actually. The actual price of number two is five ninety nine, if I'm correct, um, and I got it for seven ninety nine, um, due to the fact of the premium. So it's two pound on every um, issue that I have to pay for, which is fine. Two pounds, two pound. Um, so I've got one unit with Dominion box set. I've now got two units with that and that's cost me seven ninety nine. I bought another two issue twos at five ninety nine. So I've got two extra units for ten eleven pound just under eleven pound. If I bought those two at Games Workshop, it would have cost me 70 quid. So I've made this basically a saving of about 59 pounds just on those two. Um, and I'm not knocking, this isn't about Games Workshop, this is about having and I would have got them either way. I, w I would have spent that 70 quid quite ha happily just to get them. But that's the saving I'm making on, on these issues. Um, then it goes up to 7.99, no, 8.99 I think, or seven. the next one, 7.99. Um, let me have a look actually. I've got it here, because I've got things to, right, so, Oh, issue 
No, oh, five ninety nine. Sorry, made a mistake. Yeah, so the third, second with um, free the uh, free issue free. Oh, this is subscription with your indicators. Um, only five ninety nine. So that's what I've got. Basically, five ninety nine is it cost me seven ninety nine with the premium to get the other premium models. Not bad. Not bad. So, um, what I've done um, from the last one, just to give you, I've done the old little grot, made him up, bless him. Um, I haven't put his arm on. His arms come off. Um, of the shield back there's a shield there so i'm going to put the back onto that and put his arm back on or else he won't be able to kill anything bless him it's quite nice got to watch out for that little spiky thing at the top because it bends over um and then the arcanum i've put into a sub assembly like i did with the other one um and i'm going to do some funky stuff with it i'm going to do the iron veins which hasn't even come into it yet i think it's in the next one but that's just a little little sneaky peek um so yeah um this is jam jar 34 do all the funky stuff like subscribe share um and i hope you I hope you're enjoying my um reviews um and progress um might be a bit slow with the painting and stuff but hey ho and away we go um so this is jam jar signing off for issue two wait for the next one issue three um i've got issue three already but i'm not gonna do a video for that just yet um i got it um just before just at the end of february so it's all here waiting i've just got to get time to do it um so like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now bye bye Ba-ding.